Uh, well, my name's uh, Jason Goldman. I graduated from Parkway North in uh, 1995, uh, and I was uh, I spent entire K through 12 in Parkway schools. Uh, so I was uh, originally at Carmen Trails uh, from K through four, and then at Craig School uh, for fifth and sixth grade, and then uh, Parkway East uh, Junior High School, and then Parkway North. Um, and my family's also a Parkway family. My mom. Uh, was uh, a teacher and then later principal of Craig School uh, and was in the was an educator in Parkway for 25 years um, and so it's always been something that's like you know been a big part of our family and a big part of our lives um, and you know I think definitely led to the type of uh, to the type of work I did which is a combination of um, the internet and uh, uh, trying to engage with people online um, that was an interest of mine when I was in high school. I was, I was uh, uh, using what was the pre-web, the before the internet called BBSing, where you would use a modem to dial into another person's computer and uh, you know, sort of get into arguments or discussions online with people. Uh, and then I worked at a software store when I was in high school. Uh, and I, worked on a number, I got to work on a number of cool computer projects when I, was in, uh, when I was in high school, which for the 90s was a really rare treat. And, uh, amazing uh, privilege. I really, even in, in junior high school, um, my science teacher, uh, Ms. Kelly, sort of put me up for this program uh, where we got to work on a year-long project in the computer lab, working with CD-ROMs and laser discs, like kind of telling stories using all these new technologies. And uh, I was able to kind of skip a good amount of class that year and just work in the computer lab for uh, the good chunk of it, which I still think is one of the better uh, maneuvers I've ever pulled off on my life, which is I had this special project and could just say to people, oh, we've got a special project in the computer lab and no one really understood what it was. And so we got out of class for uh, something like a better part of a semester. But that was like, I mean, that was a really exciting time when personal computing was exploding and I, I knew it was something that was interesting to me, but not just for the technology part, but for the part to uh, connect with people emotionally and to engage with people. Uh, and so that led to my interest in working on the internet, uh, what later be known, became known as social media, whether that was originally Blogger, um, which allowed people to, similar to the kind of BBSing that I was doing in, um, in high school, was now the next version of that, where people would have their own place on the internet, their own place on the web, where they could publish uh, and share their thoughts. And then working at Blogger led directly to um, uh, starting the work on Twitter. Uh, and which was the whole next evolution of that concept of allowing people to connect and share their feelings and to engage with each other. Um, and it was a result of all that work that I uh, ended up working at the White House and um, uh, trying to figure out how to use those platforms and those tools for um, connecting with citizens, allowing people to embrace uh, what the president's referred to as the imperative of citizenship, um, so they're more active in their communities and more uh, active in their cities and uh, are willing to make their voice heard and really play an active role in um, shaping what kind of life they want to, uh, what li life and what kind of world they want to leave to their kids. And I think the internet and using online tools is a really important part of that. So that was, that's sort of been the, the, la the latest step. And I think a lot of that started in the computer lab at Parkway um, East Junior High School. And uh, I think a lot of that was inspired by the, the, the kind of the, the, the education I got in Parkway schools. That's wonderful. That's certainly quite a story. Yeah. What um, What would you have advice? What kind of advice would you have for students who are kind of pursuing that? You know, know so many kids are interested in working with computers and yeah. gaming and those kinds of things. What What kind of advice do you have for students yeah. now? Yeah, I mean, I think like you know the it's you have to like you know like really tune into what it is you like about it. I mean, like you know, I still like video games. I play a lot of video games, but. Uh, video games to, to me are like sort of separate from the part that I know I'm actually good at working on. Um, and so I'm good at working with teams, I'm good at like helping people focus on a, like a long-term goal, I'm good at like sort of the creative process of putting together a project. Um, so it's important to figure out like, you know, which part of it that you actually, um, you like versus which part that you're good at and you feel like you've got some aptitude for. Um, you know, for a long time in, uh, in my career, I was a product manager, which meant I was essentially one of the people who was responsible for designing features for uh, the product. Uh, and it turns out, like, I'm not actually the best at that. Like, that's not actually my core skill set is design. I'm not, a, I'm not the best designer. Um, but I, what I can do is bring together good designers and other people who are 
are really creative. I'm really good at working with folks who are way more creative than me and, and helping them attack a larger problem. But it took like 30 years to figure out that's what was going on. Um, and so, but you can see inklings of that. Like I, you know, I, I can look back and say, you know, when I was on uh, like the debate team in high school or when I was like on like the quiz bowl team in high school, I maybe wasn't the, the best person on the team. Like I wasn't necessarily like the best person on the team, but I would be the captain of the team because I was good at like kind of, you know, pulling folks together um, and uh, kind of making it feel like a team. And so there, you get those inklings pretty early about the stuff that you're actually good at um, versus the stuff that you just actually enjoy. And so finding, it takes a long time, it takes sometimes a whole lifetime to figure out how to separate those two and think about them differently, but um, that's, a, that's a core thing. Well, it sounds like you're a natural leader. Uh, can you share what this award means to you? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, for me, it's really like, I, I'm very proud of being a product of the Parkway school system. Like, you know, it's, as I said, um, you know, my mom was an educator in Parkway. My brother went to Parkway schools. We, both of us were in Parkway schools, um, for K through 12, um, big believer in public education. And, you know, I think, uh, like the system that we, you know, the system that we went through was when I, you know, when I went to college, I realized I had an advantage over my peers because of how good a education I got in high school. I knew how to write. I knew how to make an argument. I knew like sort of how different teachers evaluated different works. There was a bunch of things that just seemed like I had uh, learned uh, that were outside of like sort of the core, like, you know, what year was the Battle of Hastings facts, like uh, that was a result of uh, I think a really amazingly strong education system. And so um, I think that, you know, for me, like being able to say that, that I can connect the things I did later to a result of having been through Parkway schools is, is something I'm, I'm proud of for sure.